So that was actually a gift from a friend. This Psalmopius. And uh, he actually sent us the record or gave us the record. And then we're now able to take pictures of this very specimen. Um, but as you saw, it's quite, yeah, it had quite some fights. So this specimen we were able to tickle out during the day and actually you can see there are a lot of cars coming like this but the specimen is uh, yeah had quite some fights in the past uh, a lot of legs missing but you can see by the appearance it looks very similar to the Psalmopeus pulcher from Panama and yeah so far it's not really clear if it's a valid species uh, Psalmopeus emeraldus or if they have to be synonymized in the future and yeah that's basically it we will leave the specimen alone put her back inside here and then continue looking for another specimen. So in the meantime, while returning from this Colombian field trip, uh, there was a publication regarding this Psalmopeus emeraldus, and at the moment it is considered a species inquirenda, meaning that it is of doubtful origin and needs further investigation. So just to make a few short uh, statements about this whole topic of Psalmopeus emeraldus, Psalmopeus pulcher, which does look identical if you look at this yeah, closely documented specimen we found here. Uh, it is from Panama. Psalmopeus pulcher is described from Panama and is actually described in the year 1925. Um, but this species over here, Psalmopeus emeraldus, is quite far away from Panama itself. Um, it is found in the region of Muzo, where there is an emerald mine, and hence the name. Emeraldus, because the type locality is in fact very near these famous emerald mines in Colombia. And that's the place where we looked for this specimen as well. It is not uh, exactly at the type locality, but it is in close range to it. And certainly, yeah, if considered uh, and documented this specimen a little bit better, and if we would find more specimens of this, we could actually work with this uh, species again, Psalmopeus emeraldus, and try to help uh, the researcher currently working on this topic to maybe resolve this and maybe actually are able to yeah, get it valid species state again. And if that would happen, it means that Psalmopeus pulcher is probably going to be synonymized with Psalmopeus emeraldus because emeraldus is actually described around 22 years earlier than Psalmopeus pulcher. So that's just a few side notes. This is, of course, a specimen from Colombia and not from Panama. So quite awesome find we have here, uh, Psalmopeus emeraldus. I'm just keep calling it like that because it is not a pulcher we found in Panama. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the little documentation. And remember, just stay at home for your and the safety of all of so people at the moment actually is not easy to find arboreal species of tarantulas and as I mentioned this was a gift uh, from a friend of us and therefore we didn't have to do anything to just drive there and actually tickle out the specimen which is not always easy um, but you can see there are a lot of trees around and luckily for us Psalmopeus also does quite a lot of webbing and uh, it therefore should be easy to spot the webbing at least but most of the time you're not able to tickle them out 
So even though the specimen is uh, extremely damaged and in harsh conditions, it was an adult female and super, super happy, super stoked about it. And it's actually uh, the first song of was for the friends of mine and yeah, they really enjoy it as well. So thanks again for this awesome gift. And uh, yeah, we try to search some other specimens of this very species and hopefully we're going to find anything. Yeah, that's it for now. Um, more on this San Prius Emeraldus talk later on. I think we'll finish this episode. It's half day in at the moment. And uh, we'll try to do some more filming. So if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also thumbs up the video. Please leave a comment. If you have any questions, it would be great to hear. If you do own Salmopeus emeraldus or any other Salmopeus species, it's always great to hear what tarantulas you keep. Cheers. So So this actually is the garden of uh, someone living on the edge of the village and we were allowed and we were allowed to have a look around these trees to search for some of Wales Emeraldus, but uh, of course it's extremely difficult and so far we haven't managed to find any signs of a Salmopoeus. Um, usually you can see the silk very well but uh, it's just, just extremely difficult. Um, there are a lot of butterflies though so that's nice. <laughs> but that's not primary forest at all but they try to keep it uh, forested again so I would say they do it very with, a, with great respect to nature so I let it go back as you can see here and they also do um, planting of different trees and plants. So anyway, here you can see how it looks like when someone is cutting down trees and then burns it to get ashes to then plant some new trees here. And here they planted a whole lot of banana trees and also even some ashes for the nutrition of course but you can see like this tree up there it's around I would say 20 meters in height and there's certainly could be a Psalmopoeus living up there somewhere and we would have no idea when we walk past them so I think that's quite an impression for you guys on how to maybe decorate your enclosure even though it's not the primary rainforest it's garden of an Colombian man and his family and he greatly allowed us to search for all different critters in here and he even supported us in trying to help them so yeah that's for it